Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Idea Spot. Today I am looking at another events plugin. Today I'm going to be looking at Modern Events Calendar Lite. And I got to say, I think this is the best free plugin for events that I've tried so far. So let's get into it. As soon as I installed it and created a few events, I was able to make these really nice uh, pre designed sections. And so I've got a, a nice cover for a featured event. You've got a nice slider here. And you can do a carousel. And this is all in the free version. You've got a search function that you can filter by category. And you can display all the lists in uh, a list of events in chronological order. So, and this was pretty quick to set up. All you had to do is... Um, install the plugin, you'll get this in your menu and you can just add an event and it's just like using, um, it's just like making a blog post or a new page in, in WordPress. So you just write in your event description, put in your featured image, you put the details for the event, start and end. You can do repeating events and there's lots of options for um, how often they repeat. You could do week days or weekends or monthly events, how many times it's going to repeat. You can put your location in and you could link it to another site. If you were using Eventbrite, you could link over to your Eventbrite for selling tickets and things. Um, so lots of things you can do to run your events. To set up the actual event display, it gives you these different views. For example, I was using that cover view and it gives you a short code. You just paste that short code into your page builder. For example, I was using Elementor page builder or if you're using Gutenberg page builder, you just get the short code and use the short code block. Um, I use the short code block in Elementor and just pasted that in. You get the um, section in there. If you're using Elementor, it actually gives you a, a widget you can drop in, which is really nice. You can just drop one in and then you can just choose the type of display. So if I wanted to have a carousel there, you just hit carousel and it'll load one up for you. Um, you get a lot of different pre-designed views. So this is like a grid view that you can get. Um, you can demo them over on, on webness.net. Um, but you get a grid view and you don't just get one grid view. They have different styles. Um, so like with the slider I was looking at, maybe I was using type two. You can just go and demo, have a look what fits the style of your website. And so here's a, a kind of slider. Let's have a look at type one. Here's type one slider. So lots of nice ways you can display. Even in the free version, you get these. And in the pro version, you'll get a map view, an agenda, a masonry is nice, and a timetable. So maybe if you're arranging something like a, um, a school schedule, you could use a timetable view, for example. All of those style of um, sections, you can style them in the options here. So I was using a blue color. You can choose whichever color. Um, you can change the typography to match your theme in there. The one thing that I had trouble with was some of these sections came pre-styled with fonts and the font didn't match my theme. And the only way I could manage to solve that was just going into um, and identifying the um, CSS class and and doing that through custom CSS. So that was a little bit annoying. Um, not that hard, but it would be nice if if just those few things were added as 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 options in here for um, you can do color options for the short codes, but you can't do the font options for the short codes. So I think um, it was set as Montserrat font, and then I just changed it to inherit the font from my theme not that I have anything against Montserrat font it's pretty nice but it's nice if everything matches though 
So maybe they'll update that and, and fix that little thing. But um, the difference between the free and the pro version is the pro will give you maps and the pro will also give you booking and ticketing, which is really a nice way if you're doing it commercially. You've got all these booking features and ticketing features. Um, if you if you weren't doing um, a lot of events and you just needed a little free plugin for your for your website, the free version's fine. Uh, you could get around having the the actual pro version by putting some putting some uh, code into the event and just uh, linking it to your own WooCommerce products. So um, just go in in single event single event page. Make sure the um, Disable block editor, and that will give you the block editor in when you add or edit your events. So, for example, all I did was just go into the block editor, made up a ticket button just by going, just by using a, a regular um, Gutenberg button, and then you could link it to your ticket page, or you could link it to your event right page, or your WooCommerce product, and then you could sell your tickets like that without even using the pro version. But if you wanted to avoid the hassle, you could just get the pro version. The pro version um, comes with PayPal and Stripe credit card management, and you don't even wouldn't even need to bother with WooCommerce. So, a couple of ways of doing it. Um, like I said, there you go. You could put your ticketing link in there, even in the free version, and sell tickets. Um, the pro version it's only fifty five. And you get everything all all bundled up, so that's really nice. Um, that's actually, I think that's a little bit cheaper than than the other event plugins I've looked at too. So, pretty good way to go about things if you want to get a pro version. Um, like I was saying, that the payment gateway so it accepts PayPal Express, PayPal Credit, and Stripe, and you could. Link it with your WooCommerce setup as well, but I think that's an extra add-on that you have to add thirty-five dollars. But honestly, I was really happy with the free version um, for what I would need to do: just make my own little payment button and then go with that. So I think that really wraps it up. Um, if you want to add events to your to your WordPress page, I really do recommend this um, Modern Events Calendar Light and. It's the best free one I've, I've used just because the design work that's gone into it, it's going to save you a lot of time. You've got your carousels and, and sliders and, and cover views that you can add straight to your page and it'll look pretty good straight away. So that's all from me. Um, if this has been helpful, make sure you click that like and subscribe and I'll be back again with some more WordPress tutorials. Thanks and I'll see you later.